Hey y'all, hey, Erica with Time to Shrink. Today we have a big Costco haul and a all meat haul from a local grocery store. Before we jump into that though, let me go over the meal plan for this week. I am gonna be doing a carnivore challenge this week, so I am not meal prepping a whole lot of stuff this week. I'm really, really not. I'm kind of gonna do like steaks on the grill, sausages on the grill, hamburgers on the grill, like super easy things that my husband or my son can cook. We're gonna prep a little bit of that, but some of it we're just gonna kinda cook throughout the week. So my meal plan for this week. We have a pretty crazy week. Like our schedule is pretty crazy. So, I am doing a really special meal, shrimp and grits. Y'all will already be able to see this. This will be up. I'll link it in the iCards. But I used high key collie mash to make like a grits. So, like, did shrimp and grits with andouille sausage. This was amazing. I've already made that. That was so good, y'all. And then we had some Italian sausage. And then I did some pasta and marinara to go with that with the kids. Wednesdays, the kids are out of town out of town. Wednesday the kids are at church so we usually just eat leftovers those of us that eat at home. Thursday burgers and frozen veggies. Friday steak on the grill. Saturday I was thinking chicken wings but I forgot we're celebrating my daughter's birthday that night so I believe she wants my chicken nuggets my chick-fil-a style chicken nuggets. I'll link those above they're also in my cookbook y'all they are so so good and then Sunday is usually a eat what's left kind of clean out the fridge type day. So this is my meal planner sheet. This is available for y'all if you would like this. If you think this would be helpful to you, I will link this down below. It is a free, absolutely free printable for y'all. So let's jump into the grocery haul. We are going to do a big Costco haul today. My yearly Costco executive membership money has come back. You make money off of gas, off of all your spending, off of everything. And then once a year, they kind of give you that money back. So this year I am going to go kind of use some of that money just to stock up on some stuff from Costco. I don't have an exact list. I'm just kind of go through and get the stuff that we always like to repurchase and kind of get us stocked up. My friend Kim over at Free to Family was talking about kind of like the pandemic thing that's going on. Like there's, you know, small talk about the coronavirus and whether it could cause us to have to like be in our house for a few weeks at a time or things like that. And truthfully, I like to be, truthfully, I'm someone that likes to be prepared, y'all. I like to have things set in the house. For me, it's partly like Every single year I stock up during hurricane season just in case on water, on, you know, like snacks and stuff for the kids, on some canned goods, that kind of stuff. And as I've gone through my pantry recently, I've been using, 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 using up, which is awesome. But it's kind of time to restock and this is a good time because I have this money so it's not money that was allocated for my budget it's like some extra money so I feel like that's the perfect thing to do with it is to kind of stock up on some supplies that will last and that we know we will use I never recommend going and stocking up on stuff that if there's not a pandemic you would not end up using we don't want to do that and we don't want to like react out of fear or anything like that but it's always good to pre be it's always good to be prepared and stocked up in a frugal way right we don't want to go spend money that we don't have to stock up on stuff but this is the perfect opportunity for me to do it so i'm going to go into costco i'm going to stock up i may take y'all with me it just depends on how crazy crowded it is let's see if we find some new things and then afterwards i will share with you every single thing that i get for sure let's go shopping y'all it is pollen season in the south and my eyes are so itchy i did not put any makeup on today because i knew i would be rubbing it all off oh my gosh my eyes are itchy y'all have y'all hit pollen season yet back home from costco y'all 424 dollars later i did a stock up so i'm gonna start with the non-keto stuff and then work my way down i got some snacky stuff for the kids so over here, I needed some Cascade Platinum, so I got that. The These are snacks for the kids, bread to put in the freezer for the kids, tortilla chips for them, some regular pasta just to have on stock for those of us that do eat gluten, some Asian style like ramen type noodles for my daughter, some trail mix to put in their lunches, 
Also got some mini chicken and cheese tacos for like when they have friends over or whatever that I could pop in real quick as something they could eat. Protein bars for my husband and my son. I got one Caesar salad for my son, chicken Caesar salad. He likes that from Costco a lot. Got some dog food which always adds up. Okay, over here the rest of this stuff is for me and for my family, but it's all perfectly keto. So, I got 100% grass-fed beef patties. My Costco was not carrying these until recently, so I was super excited to see 100% grass-fed beef patties. So, these are 80-20, a third a pound each. I also got, this is new to me too, an all-natural, sustainable sea bass, the Barramundi. I am super, super excited to try this yum then I got some pork belly I ended up getting the one that was already kind of pre-sliced so that I can just chop it up from here just to save myself a little bit of time I could have gotten the whole big slab but I went with this way I'm excited to cook up some of this and freeze some of this a bunch of butter some goat cheese this is my very favorite cheese y'all see this in every one of my costco hauls pretty much so i got that to eat on i got this cheese to shred up aged cheddar i am doing a carnivore challenge right now and i'm trying to get the highest quality possible for every any kind of dairy so these are both aged this is aged cheese this is my kids favorite for like sandwiches or for anything they just eat it for snacking too even got Four things of Mexican style shredded cheese. These are mainly for my son's quesadillas. They freeze really, really well. So I throw them in the freezer and pull one out at a time. Another thing of Chosen Foods mayonnaise as a backup, some salsa for all of us. This is a really good one, this organic Jack's Cantina salsa. It is so tasty, y'all. Two things of wisps back there for me. I got four things of palmetto cheese because this is good through April. So I figured I know they'll go through all four of these in a month. So I got two regular, two jalapeno. These are phenomenal. If you're not making it yourself, this is the best one that I have found. It is so good, this palmetto cheese. I got these because I'm doing carnivore and I thought they would be easy and portable. I've never had them before, but I know my dad buys them. There's no sugar in them and there's 16 grams of protein per serving. So I grabbed that. I grabbed three dozen eggs. Some of them are outside, but the pasture raised eggs from Costco are only $6.99 for 18. Yes, you can still spend a lot less, but for pasture raised, that's a really good price. I stocked up on a bunch of canned chicken because it's just something good to have and we will use it. I use that when I make my buffalo chicken dip pretty much exclusively. Sometimes I use rotisserie chicken, but usually I use that. I got some apple cider vinegar with the mother because I needed it. And hold on a second. Do you want to go outside? Okay. Go outside. So that was my Costco haul, y'all. I had about $548 in Costco money to spend. I spent $426, so this was free, y'all. So this was all free, y'all. I use a Costco Visa with my Executive Club membership, and I get points back on gas, like 4% on gas, some on like different kinds of travel on anything that I spend and I never ever ever leave a balance so I've never like accrued interest or anything like that I just use it because I want the points back so I got 500 and $568 or something in rewards back this year. So I bought all of this for free, stocked up on this with that money, and then they gave me cash back for the rest of it. And I'm gonna try and just use that for the rest of the month for groceries so that we're not spending any more money. We will see how that works. I, I got like 150 something dollars back, so we will see how that works. But I'm thinking with this and the meat stock up that I just showed y'all that maybe we'll be good for the month other than just like odds and ends. That's what I'm hoping. Well, and I'll show you what I got. My local grocery store had all of the sausage, buy one, get one free. The steaks were on sale. It was a good week for me to choose to do this. So I got all of this meat for less than $100. So all of the sausage was buy one, get one free. So it was $6 for two. $6 for two. This was $6 for two. And then these were 15 
for this one and this one together. So yeah, they were all about $6 for two pounds. So really, really good deal. Our, my local grocer has a place called Sausage Works in it, and they have like, I don't know, 20 different kinds of sausage, and the ingredients are really, really clean for the most part, and I really, really like it. So, I got, this is the Mad Hatcher, and this one, I think these are both the Mad Hatcher. And then these are andouille sausage. This one, I thought I had taken off my list because I didn't love the ingredients, but it came anyway. So I'll probably just give this one to my hubby and the kids. This one had some sugar in it and some corn syrup, actually. And I thought I took it out of my cart, but I must not have. I ordered this via internet and went and picked it up. They have fiery Italian, and there's two pounds, two pounds. And then these were buy one get one free as well. 100% pure Angus patties. There's six in a pack, so there's 12 of those. And then these free range 100% grass fed New York strips were $7.97 a pound, which for grass fed steak is phenomenal. I probably should have got more than two, truthfully, but I got two packs. So this is, how many pounds is this? Three pounds three and two quarter pounds, so a good amount of steak. So I am going to have this to eat off this week. All right, y'all, so that was our hauls for this week and our meal plan. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some ideas or some inspiration, and I will see you tomorrow for meal prep. Bye, y'all. I hope you have a super, super great weekend.